Hello everybody, Merry Christmas to you. It's 25th of December 2023 uh, and again, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap. We're going to start with Bitcoin number one, followed by Ethereum, Solana, BNB, XRP, Cardano, and then we Avalanche at number seven. We don't rest. Let's get straight to it because the bull run is in... It's not exactly full swing yet. Uh, eventually will, but... Okay, let's just take things one step at a time. Bitcoin against USD. Yes, so we're in a consolidation since the last week. We looked at it. We were around this area. We zipped up, zipped back down. So, yo, bro, we are in a consolidation, right? Uh, again, we're not too sure whether if we're going to be getting a cup and a handle or whether if it's going to be an ABCDE or we could get a surprise inverse head and shoulders. We fall a little bit deeper, potentially. Uh, so, yeah, it's still too early for us to tell. We can't say for sure. But uh, we're anticipating resistance at around 47, 48,000 as we are about to take the right shoulder out. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. You see this? So, we're anticipating resistance over here. Major resistance. Uh, but to be honest, I would prefer it if we had a head and shoulders. This would be awesome. Right? Or even if we were to consolidate all the way to the halving. Oh, that would be awesome. But at this point of time, you know, we're still not entirely sure. Uh, but we're anticipating more upside eventually for Bitcoin. No matter how low it's going to go, we're still expecting more upside, upside right? At least uh, 46,400, right? If there were to be a major reversal. I mean, of course, we could be wrong and it could fall here, but you know, we're expecting more upside for Bitcoin, which is good. It's very important that Bitcoin does not collapse. I don't see any reason for Bitcoin to collapse at the moment. Eventually, maybe, but not at this moment. I'm not too sure, but I have a strange feeling that the Bitcoin ETF news might be a buy the rumor, sell the news kind of an event, which means that up till the date where it starts, everything is up. The date that it starts, everything starts falling. That's my guess. Again, we're going to have to wait and see how things go. So we, again, we'll take things one step at a time for Bitcoin. Ethereum. Okay, I think it could be Ethereum's turn to make a move, right? Again, we're anticipating the possibility of an A, B, C, D. E. Something like that. The reason why we anticipate this is because this is a fall in a very controlled manner for FBDC. Very controlled fall, right? And again, you can see that this is a resistance, right? And there's so many clusters of stop buys over here. The wheels could just suddenly bzoop, eat up everybody's stop buy over here, right? So I think uh, FBDC could be heading back up. And again, this is a gift, a Christmas gift for you. If you look over to the monthly, we could be getting a uh, potential hammer, right? We are only on the 25th of December. Again, we got another six or seven more days to go, right? Before the month ends. So this could be the sign of a bullish reversal for FPDC. We are not too sure. We're going to have to wait and see how it goes first. So, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. We shall see how it goes, right? Uh, if you were to go to, let me just see, at least 54, right? 5448. Uh, where's this? 5448 is where? Here. For somewhere around here, right? We just have to go above here and close the month above here to we'll get ourselves a very nice monthly hammer. Monthly hammers are very strong bullish reversal chart patterns, right? Very strong bullish reversals. So we're anticipating that, right? Uh, the last time we saw a clear hammer, right? Uh, the boys and I, uh, we were actually, we saw it on Arbitrum. Let me just show you. You see this? It came for Arbitrum. And this was a sign. That's it. That's it. Get in here. Let's go. So we went, we went in uh, for Arbitrum after that. Uh, and yeah, we're hoping that it comes for FBDC. You know? If it comes for FBDC, then great. Uh, if not, then... Again, we will, we will reassess the situation, right? We'll take things one step at a time. Crypto never sleeps. Crypto is always exciting because you just don't know what's going to happen next. Um, on the monthly scale, yeah, everything is still green. Green, green, green. It's all green, green. All I see is grass. On the daily, yeah, it also feels like we're in a consolidation, which is good, which is good. Um, we're not exactly collapsing. So we have a target over here, 2677. Seven. Yes, we're still aware that there is a 666 six, six target over here uh, because of the head and shoulders. This is still possible. But the moment you take out the right shoulder over here, that's it. This is invalidated. So we could be on our way to take out the right shoulder here. We could be. We could be. So, yeah. But, but we're expecting this as well, though. Uh, is there a possibility that we could hit 2677 and still come back down? Sure, of course. 
don't take this out. As long as you don't take this out, uh, this is still a possibility. We respect the chart patterns until it gets invalidated. Solana, welcome Solana uh, to the uh, top five, right? Uh, Sol BDC, uh, Solana is down. Uh, <laughs> the crazy move, right? We are above the skinny pink line. The moment we broke above the skinny pink line, that's it. Bullish bias towards the upside. Was this tradable? Uh, you can force a trade if you want to, but uh, doesn't conform to our uh, system. A uh, 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 series of values of sorts. Uh, sending, symmetrical, you know, something like that. The point is we're above the skinny pink line. So the bullish trend is on. Uh, how much higher are we going to go? Again, I suspect we'll stop here. There'll be some resistance here. At around 3.2. 0 0.0032. 0 0.0025. So another 20, 30 percent, is it? 22 percent. Another 22 percent more to go. Right. Um, yeah, just a little bit more. So yeah, that's our take. Again, we're not entirely sure. Uh, for Solana, it's a no go for us in terms of trading. Sol against USD. Yeah, we're already up. Uh, again, same thing as well. There's a resistance around 158 plus minus around the area. Um, our assumption is that Solana will clear the top here and clear this top as well. That's our assumption. So more upside. Yep. Uh, if this was a wave one, this was a wave two, this is a wave three. Wave three is usually the longest, never the shortest. We'll probably get another wave four over here as we head up to a wave five. That's our expectation. So uh, there should be a deep retrace coming on for Solana. We're anticipating the possibility of a deep retrace. Something like this. A deep retrace. When I say a deep retrace, it could be again 66, 67%, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I can't say for sure how deep it is going to be. So we're going to have to wait for the consolidation to appear first. How long did it take though? Let me just see. Okay, about less than three months, the, the, the consolidation. So we might get something like this as well. Maybe one month. Maybe. Again, I, I can't say for sure. So we'll take things one step at a time for Solana. But it's in the top five. Uh, BNB against BDC. Oh. I think it could be time for BNB as well. This is present number two for you. So BNB has already registered a monthly hammer. Ta -da! The last time we got a monthly hammer, you know what happened? Ooh, Merry Christmas. We went crazy. So this could be the same thing as well. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. As we go higher. Possibly, right? So look at this, boys. Gift number two. Um, Anything for us to do here? Nope. The best thing that could happen for BNB BDC is we just do nothing. Just hang around here, relax, chill, enjoy Christmas, enjoy Chris, uh, New Year's Eve, uh, and then BAM! We go up. That'll be awesome. Right, so again, we'll take things one step at a time. Right, Daily, you won't see it. Weekly, you won't see it. Monthly, you see it. And you can see that the on the MACD, the histogram has shifted to light rate. Let me show you another very good example of a monthly moves BDC you see on Bitstamp. Okay. The last time, if you look at BDC, right, on the monthly in October 2022, that was the first time the histogram on the MACD shifted from a dark rate to a light rate, which means that there could be a possibility that things could be uh, reversing back up. You see that? Do you see that, boys and girls? I mean, of course, we did dip a little bit, 21%. Uh, in November and then December and then January came BAM! We're up and then that's it. That's it. Sayonara bitches and Bitcoin is up. Right. So moving back to BNB look at this. Do not fade Binance. <laughs> Don't fade Binance. So yeah I think I could be buying more BNB for paying fees. I'm almost dry <laughs> uh, for uh, you know, BNB for paying fees. So I'll probably be making moves for BNB uh, once we see this confirmation, right? So which means that it's only on the 1st of January uh, where we see this confirmed hammer coming for BNB. That's the hope. So if you look at the top coins, there are two coins that's still lagging in terms of uh, volatility towards the upside. Ethereum is one of it. The second one is actually BNB, right? You want to buy coins when the sentiment is bearish. But, like, huh? but uh, CZ is, you know, under house arrest. He can't leave US. And, you know, there's a lot of bad news surrounding it. But if you have TA knowledge, you will know that uh, this would be a very good time to buy. Right. More precisely, 
the timing of things, right? Uh, yeah, so I think BNB is a good buy. Eventually, eventually. Again, we still need confirmation. I can't say for sure. We'll take things one step at a time for uh, BNB, right? Against USD, if you look at BNB, USD, it has been green. Uh, yes, we are anticipating the possibility of a fall to 173 and 122. It's not out of the question. Uh, we still respect our targets. <laughs> we still got bearish chart patterns here, right? We still got bearish chart patterns. Uh, but things could be about to switch bullish, right? That's why we had a BNB USDT perpetuals, right? So that's why we have a bullish look on things. So potentially, uh, BNB could have already broken the resistance. There's a resistance line again. Again, it's not proportionally pleasant. You can consider this as a symmetrical if you want to. Again, not proportionally pleasant. You know, it's not a high quality one, but still is, but not a high quality, not a high quality one, right? AB, CD, maybe E, something like that. It's a bit ugly, but it's still a squeeze, right? Uh, and we're already out. Broke out. And now, oh, there's a retrace and a uh, bounce. So, could this bounce lead to more upside? Potentially. We're kind of above the skinny pink line. But just because you're above it, doesn't mean you're going to stay above it, right? Look at this. We still slap down. Uh, we still got slap again. Could we still get slapped down? Yeah, again. We're not entirely sure. So, we're going to have to take things one step at a time. I would prefer something like this, right? Let's say we break up and then we consolidate here a little bit before heading higher. That'll be awesome, right? Uh, again, at the same time, you can draw a resistance across, right? I mean, you ignore this week and you can call this an inverse head and shoulders as well. You could, but it's, mm, it's not so, you know, it's just not ideal, I would say, right? So yeah, again, we'll, we'll take things one step at a time, but I think that uh, it could be time to um, consider making moves. But again, we, we need co uh, confirmation first uh, on the BDC pair. We'll see how it goes, right? Two gifts for you. Ho, ho, ho. XRP against BDC. Here we go. Uh, XRP. Yeah, we we'll, we'll still have a strange feeling that these two lows are going to be taken out. These two clusters here. There are two, two cell clusters here. Um, as we head lower, again, noisy area. So this is what we're anticipating. Could we be wrong for XRP BDC? Yeah, sure, of course. It could just suddenly start zipping up from here, for sure. Uh, again, we will reassess the situation if and when the time comes, but XRP is a no-go for us. It's a no-go for us uh, for, the, for the time being, right? XRP against USD. Yeah, if, if it could just consolidate, it could just zip our way up, right? Uh, but I still fear that, you know, we could still drop lower. So, yeah, I mean, of course, the big chart pattern is very nice, right? But we're aware of the danger over here, right? And XRP is known to do things like this, right? A sudden zip down, bam! Everybody gets liquidated, and then it goes back up. Boo! So the same thing could happen here as well. Bam! And then boo! So you want to be ready, right? You want to have a truck here to load up on your XRP if and when it falls here, right? So yeah, that that would be my master plan for XRP if it does happen, or or if we get something clearer over here, we'll consider it. But for the moment. Yeah, it still doesn't really look that good. Mm, technical work, technical wise, it still, you know, it still needs time, right? Um, Ada, okay, Ada has started moving. Ada BDC is already above the skinny pink line, right? We were saying for many weeks, we were saying that this is a very nice wave C in the making, right? A B C. Uh, we're expecting a D to happen. Uh, eventually, I think this whole thing is a uh, wave one in the making, right? One, two, three, four, another one up, five. We have a wave two, and then we have another wave three, wave four, and then a wave five. So I suspect this could very well be the bottom of Ada. But again, uh, if you were to take lessons in history, right? Ada always does things like this. It breaks above the skinny pink line, and then it does a very deep retrace. And just like XRP, XRP it zips back up. So the same thing could happen over here. We get a wave five, and then suddenly, bam, we fall, and then bam, we go back up again. So yeah, volatility I could start uh, returning to ADA BDC eventually, right? Uh, but I expect ADA to do very, 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 very well, very well. So don't fit Charles Hoskinson. Never fit. Uh, what do you call him? Wait, the Hodge is it? <laughs> Uh, okay, ADA BDC, ADA USDT. Here we go, ADA USDT. Yeah, so ADA USDT 
Uh, we had a target over here, fresh out of the oven. We expect more upside. Uh, yes, I can count five, one, two, three, four. Very likely another one, five. Uh, and then, yeah, <laughs> we're severely overbought. So there could be a retrace four, wave two, right? These are all sub waves. Four, wave one, wave two, and then we get a wave three, I suspect. And then wave four, and then five. Right, we will co which will coincide with the BDC pair. In my opinion, we'll have to take things one step at a time, uh, but I expect uh, positive things for ADA eventually. So yeah, but we're, we're just hoping for a higher quality tradable chart pattern first before making any moves, right? Uh, we don't want to be aping into things without uh, clarity. Okay, we could, be, we could be getting something here though. So maybe we might take a trade for ADA. But uh, again, depends on the situation, right? This was a squeeze that came in. Pooh! So, pooh, another one. Maybe, okay, <laughs> we'll take things one step at a time for um, Ada. Avalanche, okay, Avex is really in the top 10. Welcome to the top 10, Avalanche. So Avex is above the skinny pink line. Um, bull season is on for Avex, uh, especially on the BDC pair. More upside, yeah. How much higher? Mm, uh, we we'll anticipate resistance at here. One eight. Right now we are at one, almost one one. So another 63% yo. So I think the AVEX ecosystem coins are gonna do very well, especially coins like um, Trader Joe. Uh, you can only count three. One, two, three. Again, I'm expecting a four. I don't know if four is gonna be here or we're gonna go up a little bit and we get a four over here, but a four is expected for uh, AVEX BDC before we go up for a five. That's our expectation. So, yeah, again, uh, there's nothing much for us to do at this moment. Again, we're severely overbought. If you look at history, every time we go overbought, there's always a zip back down. So, yeah, relax. Relax, boys and girls, relax. Wait for a retrace first. Again, severely, severely overbought. So there should be some sort of a retrace soon. When? Again, okay, we, can't, we can't say for sure. Uh, could we continue higher? Of course. Uh, right now at 47. How much higher do I think we can go? Uh, if I had to guess, about 75. Um, so that would be another roughly 59, 58%. Uh, it's, it's just one straight line up though. So it's very, very overbought. Very overbought. So it would be, would be wise though if we wait for a retrace first. Right, some sort of a consolidation. So yeah, all the AVEX ecosystem coins are also going crazy. Cray cray. So yeah, above the skinny pink line, bullish bias, bullish trend. Uh, we will uh, consider looking for longs only, right? It'd be very, very dangerous uh, to look for shots. So if anything, yeah, more upside, right? Uh, I think there'll be major, major resistance here at this point here. 53 bucks, okay, we're very close to 53. Another 12%. Uh, so yeah, be careful. Be very, very careful. Uh, I think AVEX is also a no-go. If anything, uh, we, we should be looking at Ethereum and BNB. These two coins have yet to move. They are late bloomers, so we'll see how it goes. All right, boys and girls, have yourself a very Merry Christmas and see you in the next one, right? See you. Ta-da!